What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for November 24th, 2022, and we have the Black Friday event information. So, number one, this seems to be a pretty decent event for free to play, I'll be honest, usually it is not, it's not that bad. Uh, it's pretty good as a low spender, and it's pretty good as a high spender. There's going to be a new artifact introduced to the game. There is going to be a new avatar frame for spenders and stuff like that. So there's a lot of things, depending on what level of spender you are. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's go over the news. We're going to follow it up. This one is actually going to be one of the easiest events probably to break down for you guys in the next video. So stick, to, stick around. Stay tuned. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so yeah, the side part of this is Vulcan, the new Light Warrior, is going to be coming out, part of the new update here. Uh, daily login rewards are going to be three Heroic Trolls and 150 gems. Of course, the Pity Timer is going to be for Vulcan. It's not a Prey event, it is specifically for Vulcan, so if you plan on building him, uh, yeah, grab it because he's most likely, it sounds like, the next Transcendence Hero, and that's going to be the pattern moving forward. Uh, summon event. Okay, so we have Vulcan here. We have Valkyrie here. Uh, and then we have some V points. <laughs> They're not VIP points. They are V points. Uh, you're going to get 50 of them per loop, max 200. self explanatory point system this time. Uh, there's really no sliding scale. It's going to be an easy way to get the pay to win artifact. So not too bad. Uh, Palace Attorney and Palace of Crystal are going to be open. And we have the first thing special offers for VIP levels. Now, the new thing they've done this year is they've added in contract Starry Gems or Starry Gem purchases at each level as well. Um, I believe you can get both of these. I don't think it's an either or type thing. Uh, if it is an either or type thing, that kind of sucks, but you'd have to make your decision. So VIP at the low levels get some packs down here for some scrolls. I mean, it doesn't really start getting interesting until you start seeing over here at VIP 3. You can actually get a guaranteed C minus hero or higher from Soul Awakenings. Uh, those do, do go up as you go higher up. Some of these things are going to be passes. Other ones going to be pretty interesting to purchase. Uh, C plus, you get this one here, which is a skin for your Cloud Island, which is interesting, a flag at VIP 8. VIP 9 has a pay to win artifact chest, B minus hero copy. Uh, VIP 10 seems to be the really sweet one if you are that high in VIP. 11 is pretty good with a B copy, and then it's really interesting down here. 12 has sublimation chest you can get your hands on, and uh, VIP 13 has a core chest and a B plus copy. So that could very easily roll into an A minus. Fingers crossed we can actually get that happening here for us as well. We'll have to see. Um, and yeah, the green chest that is up here in the VIP five has star spawn cores in them. The one over here at VIP six has cloud island material. So this is the interesting one for those that are VIP 13. I'll be interested to see how many people actually hit an A minus or higher copy because you can. I mean, perfectly can. Me personally, I'll probably just hit a B as always. Not going to change, uh, but very interesting. So what's the total here? One thousand three forty five hundred six seven thousand ten thirteen fifty seventeen fifty. Oh, man. <laughs> 18,000, 22,000, 27,000. Oh my god, that's so much. 27, hold on, I gotta break the calculator. I can't do this on the fly. <laughs> 27,000 plus 5,500 plus 6,000 plus 6,500 plus 7,000 plus 8,000. I guess I was wrong, guys. You should save 80,000, or no, sorry, 60,000 gems, not the 50 I originally talked about. I told you it was gonna keep going up. 60,000 is it, and then for gems, oh man, what's that? We got like 300, 400. 125, 150. Granted, all these, I'm not gonna do contract story gems because there's a lot of these you probably shouldn't purchase, like the transcendence chest, probably not worth it for most people. A thousand, a thousand, these are definitely grabs. It is what it is, so yeah. All right, so we also have a point milestone system for getting rewards here. Uh, there's th four different rows. So if you've un unlocked the different frames in the past, you follow this row. 
Uh, this was, of course, like I said, the 2019, the 2020, and the 2021 Black Friday Avatar frame. Uh, the new one is going to be coming out, and that one has the statistics of... Give me one second. Uh, yeah, exactly what I said. Attack, HP, crit chance, control immunity, all damage reduction, and all damage dealt will be the new one. And if you had last year's, you can get the new one down here at 260 points, plus the brand new artifact, the Gilded Purple Fan, which will give HP all damage dealt and crit damage reduction very weird it's, it's like offensive but also defensive uh we'll have to see how that actually plays out especially the ormus version because let's be honest we don't care about anything but the ormus version um yeah but this is how it breaks down if you only have the 2020 avatar frame it's going to be down at 380 points if you only have the 2019 it's going to be down at 510 and if you've never gotten a black avatar frame you need to buy out the whole event and do the whole event essentially to get it uh this is the first time they don't give you access to multiple of these in one event though normally if you're like in this tier they give you like you get they give it to you multiple times uh it's interesting and then this one is of course a cloud island resource chest there's sublimation here not much sublimation we had in this event to be honest they're kind of forcing these chests on you unless these are optional sublimation but normally they'd show it so Ooh, either that or these chests actually have this in it so you can get three of them in the first week that could be these two chests and this chest down here could be different and actually give you access to multiple of that new fan uh, we'll have to see because we'll break down that artifact this week as well. There's prime benefits. So they are resetting the double gem benefits for all the straight up gem purchase packs. They're also adding something new where the first purchase of each individual uh, starry gem package gives you a 50% bonus. They're basically just resetting it. You don't have to do it this week. It's just permanently there for your first time purchase, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's a summoning spree. So obtaining five star heroes are going to get you rewards. And if you unlock the special package this week, which honestly, I don't think is going to be that expensive. You get some bonuses here. A total of what? How many of these? 10. So that's a hundred thousand spiritual essence. That's 500,000 con or uh, stellar shards. That's pretty good. Plus, of course, some cores of transcendence, which is not that bad. The Glamour Golden card, the Black Friday card, looks pretty sweet because they're giving you master toolboxes. They're giving you a lot of these. It's a seven day card. Uh, and then the part over here, the Golden Spirit, is based on the level of your account. I think I'm almost like level 400 now. So, what's that? 400 times 288,000 is 115 million. So not like a crazy amount, a day, I should say, times seven. So you're getting about a billion of each of these. If you're close to 400, if you're a newer account, it's much lower. Uh, it's always how these cards bend. But the stuff over here that's static, still pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, you get the Soul Temple stuff. You got Freya, you got Queen, don't really care. And this is the package here. It leads me to believe this is going to be like a $20 pack, honestly. It's going to be very inexpensive if you do want to go for those extra spiritual essence and stuff. Uh, and then, of course, you have the value packs. You have the top two packs that have resources. Pretty straightforward event this week. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time.